you guys and chicos. It's been a minute since you've seen my face. I know, I'm so sorry. Some amazing stuff has been going on, so I haven't been able to upload any videos recently. Um, four major things have happened within the past two and a half weeks. One, I was on live national television playing a game with Wendy Williams. Where does that happen? Apparently in my live rich world. Two, that same weekend, I was selected to participate in the American Black Film Festival because they were having a TV hosting workshop that they were doing in conjunction with NBC Universal. It was their first one ever and I was selected along with 20 other exceptional hosts um, to be trained and coached by industry veteran Marky Costello. Three, within that same weekend, I was called and selected to be a part of a bridal magazine shoot with World Bride Magazine, who was doing a story on World Brides, and I happened to be a World Bride because I'm supposed to be getting married soon. Um, so that was really, really dope. Hair was done, nails were done, everything was done, and to top it off, my face is going to be in a magazine. What? I know. So good! Four, two days after the film festival, I was flown out to LA to host the red carpet, but in this case, it was a black carpet, for the first ever Black and Sexy Awards, which was fallout goodness. I mean, the night was magical. There's no other way to put it. I made sure to vlog all of these experiences so that you can see some behind the scenes, but in the meantime, between time, I'm gonna hop into this video. Today, we're talking about the film festival and um, what it was like to be a part of the TV hosting workshop and trained by Marky Costello. It was it was a really, really dope weekend. I can't, I can't put it any other way. So, here it is, check it out. Good morning, Live Rich Lovers! It's day one of the American Black Film Festival! So excited! So I um, am going to be attending a TV hosting workshop for two days that I was actually selected for. I submitted myself and God made it possible for me to be a part of it. I'm going to be learning some really awesome stuff. I'm really, really excited. Have I ever been to a film festival? I don't think I've ever been to a film festival, and I've definitely never been to this one. So it's going to be a really good time. I'm going to get rid of these curl formers and start getting ready. So hope you guys are having a live rich day and that you do something awesome that puts you on track for a life goal. Um, I'm still on my second round of 90 Days of Momentum. Today is day 66, but I'll share that with you guys later. All right, bye! Hola, chicas and chicos! So I'm actually on my way into the city. My errands have been running today. I'm really excited. Um, I'm going to go pick up my passes for the festival for the week. Again, the train just got here, but I want to give you guys an update and let you know how the day is going. After that, gonna hit up a friend, Lisa Picasso, who the Lash Bar in Harlem. Then we're gonna start going to the festival activities, which include a movie screening of Dope and the next stop is. Hey guys, I'm time. I'm gonna be visiting Felicia, Felicia uh, Picasso Lashes. Um, you guys may remember her from an interview that I did back in 2013 if you've been following my channel since the beginning. I interviewed her about her lash business and how she's been growing it. At this point, I think she may have like five stores or something. Each year she opens a new store. It's kind of ridiculous, but kind of awesome at the same time. Like, ridiculous in that it's ridiculously awesome. So, if you guys want to know more about Felicia um, and her business for Cassie Lashes, check out this link over here for the full interview that I did back in 2013. You guys don't want to miss it because she's a really, really awesome person. I just came to catch up and chat because I haven't seen her in a while. She told me that I'm going to be getting my lashes done, which is super, super awesome. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it because I've never gotten my lashes done before. Price ranges for the product here because she also creates her own lashes range from $25 to $200 so she has lashes to fit every budget and every girl so batch your lashes girl and you'll be checking out mine in a few mm. it's time I'm in the chair Maya is hooking him up today this is the background hey which lashes are Today. today we're going to do the million dollar lash for you so we blend short and medium lengths for you to give you a natural but a natural look but with length and volume oh nice my lashes are gonna be on the million dollar level y'all okay so the lashes are done okay. I feel like they're like feathers it's okay. and they're actually very natural looking but they don't feel like heavy or anything if you guys want to get your lashes done, come see Fracassi at one of her, how many locations? 
Did, I knew it. I knew it. I said that, didn't I? I said, I think she has five locations. Um, so you can check out her site, ForkasiLashes.com. And again, if you want to know more about her and how she got into the lash business, hit this link over here. But you'll learn more about that later. Uh, see you downtown. <laughs> And getting ready to go to sleep is now 3.10 in the morning. And I have to be out of the house by 7.30 in order to get to the place where the hosting workshop is being held by 8.30. So, not too much exciting stuff. It's all very exciting if I'm being honest. I'm prayed up and ready. So, I'm about to go to sleep and I hope you guys had an amazing night as well. And until tomorrow, live rich and happy day, Tuesday. Night! It's day two of the festival, ABFF in the house, woo -woo. Um, but day one of the TV hosting workshop, which is the reason why I'm even here, and I'm really, really excited. It was incredible, but I'm going to tell you more about that later, but first I want to introduce you to some of the other people participating. Check them out. This is like four of, of the 20. No, this is Jonathan. A lot of personality, as you can tell. That's why he's here. Um, Vanessa. Hey ho, Dapper Doyce and his Dapper Get Up. Okay, Clay, Khalib. I wanted to call you Clay, sorry. Oh, she's been with the same guy for nine years. Woo woo, long term relationship. I am so excited. It was really, really good. Give a little insight into how it was, or just talk about how awesome it was. Oh, very insightful. Just, um, just to be in here and to to get the 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 wonderful words from Marky herself. Yeah. Like that was that was just it was I just I'm speechless. I never thought that it would happen to me. And it did a little black child, little Ethiopian child. I'm here. I'm here. I am yes, Ethiopian. Nigerian. Hi, oh, hey. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey. Yeah. Hey. 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 yeah. I like that. I like this. I like it a lot. Side note. It let did. me tell y'all what happened. I ride a bike every day. It was a struggle. Look at this you outfit. You rode a bike. In that? She yes. wore in that dress. Yes. How Look at this outfit. It, it was not happening. I'll tell you guys more about that later in the recap, but I just wanted to let you guys know about um, the awesome happenings. It's good. Until later, guys, live rich and happy dream chasing. Hola, chicas and chicos. Hey. Guess who I ran into? You guys remember her? From, you know, a Latina. Manny Mommy Movement. Right. It's so good to be back on. What are you um, doing real quick? Yes, so actually Erica and I are both here for um, the American Black Film Festival. So I am doing their social media, which is really great. I'm excited. There's a lot of great uh, actors and actresses and just awesome dynamic people here. So it's so good to be here. Yes! So excited. Love seeing my LT120 family. We'll go in a house and hopefully we'll be seeing other people along the way. Bye! <laughs> Vlogging, vlogging. Although I didn't start to do it sooner, so that you could see the deliciousness that we ate with Joyce. Dapper, Dapper Joyce. Joyce. <laughs> I mean, the food was good. Yeah. The company was better. Oh, I couldn't have said it any better. We had such an amazing yeah, conversation. It was so good. What did we have? Uh, we had pad thai with shrimp and mango sticky rice. I've never had mango sticky rice, but this guy here put me on. And you so can make good. it at home. I know. Uh, oh, and Dapper Joyce actually lives in the neighborhood, it turns out. So he's gonna be teaching me how to cook something. Nick, you can thank him later. Dapper Doyce, like thank you is going home. Too. I think I'm gonna tap out. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'm tapping out. Thank you. 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 <laughs> Let's work. Okay. <laughs> Y'all are witnessing the true struggle right now because it is hot and I'm walking with my bicicleta, going to do my homework from today's workshop. Really excited, feeling so positive. I did some YouTube enrollment on the train today promoting my second 90 Days of Momentum, speaking with people about the Live Rich movement and chasing their dreams and living out their passions. And I am just feeling so blessed. Oh. And 
other news that's super exciting is that I found out that I will be in LA next week for the Black and Sexy Awards so that I can do some interviews on the red carpet. Ouch. Yeah, just walked into my pedal. Gosh, God is good. Ah, I'm so excited. I'm doing so, 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 so. I'm doing so, 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 so. I'm doing so, so good, 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 good. Oh, he's so good. All right, so I'm gonna stop ranting and raving. I hope you guys did something that put you on track to a life goal, something that you were scared of, and something that you've simply been putting off. Because I'm telling you, stuff happens when you do. All right, I'm a little winded, and my arm is tired, so I'm gonna go. See ya. Good morning, guys. It's day two of the uh, American Black Film Festival's TV hosting workshop, and it's 6.30 in the morning. I went to sleep really late for some reason. The homework took a really long time. It's about branding, what your brand is, how to identify your brand and who your audience is. It was really insightful and I can't wait to see how that's applied into today's work. But for now, the time passes really, really quickly. So I'm gonna hurry up, get dressed. So, see you guys around. Hola chicas and chicos. Yes. Second day of the festival thing has ended. Yes. Oh, this is Nick. Hey. Nick is Jamaican and Irish. Yeah, on. Oh, that came out real quick. We're about to do a photo. This is the group. Oh my gosh, so much good stuff. The second day with Marky was awesome. We learned how to do prompter stuff. We learned how to interact with the audience about transitions. And, oh wait, 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 I want you guys to meet Darren. Hey guys. Carpe Darren. Carpe Darren. Come on now. Yeah, and she works with Andy Cohen. That's, That's right. her bizarre. But she is so funny and so relatable Eric and so girl. awesome. She also has a super sexy voice. Ooh, yeah. thank you so oh, much. How are you? I had so, so much nice fun. So nice meeting you. Keep bye in guys. touch. And bye. 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 Thank you. I want to show you guys around. I want you to meet everyone. Everyone. It's awesome. How's you guys? This is Denise. Hi. I thank God. Um, it's true that hard work pays, and I'm learning that if you trust God, that, that pays even more. So I'm, I'm ecstatic. Okay, girl, and you don't have to carry the burden. You're all, you know, it's just like, yeah. just throw it up to him, you take care of it. I'm telling you. I am so just, excited. It's like taking things a day at a time. My mom always says, live in the moment. So that's what I try to do. And I just, I thank God. It's going to be a blast. So bring my A game, have fun. And look cute doing it. Uh, oh, yeah, that's the goal. I got the mantra. I'm gonna go find Frenchie. Alrighty. Hello. Hello. Alright, guys, I'm walking you over to Frenchie. Wait, I want to introduce you to everybody else. This is Patricia. Patricia. Brandeis and her super cute page. Yeah. I love it. Alright, I'm gonna run over here. It's video time. we doing video. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? This is Jonathan Elias from California, living in Brooklyn, BK, all day, every day. <laughs> and I'm Marcus Walter. I live in Cleveland, Ohio. I'm a meteorologist, and we had a good time today. He makes weather so exciting. Y'all don't even know. Exactly. Like, for real. Weather with a smile. Weather with a smile. When he was talking about the forecast, I was like, ooh, ah. Uh. Thank you, Marcus. My arms are tired, but I want to introduce you guys to Frenchie. This is Frenchie Francois. Oh, what's up? Black Cupid. Stay tuned for more information on this Black Cupid. I'm trying to help people out, man. It's all happening. Okay, and you know why we love this? Because I love love. Like, I'm I obsessed with the idea. And I'm love. single, so I'm trying to, like, you hook people find up. It. You know, it's my job. Yeah. She looks amazing. I know you guys got to check out her outfit. Oh. She was fly both days. Both days. Oh, I had to come out with the yellow. We're trying we to, like, it. match her fly today. But, hey, we're looking good, man. Let me see you both days. Oh, man. It's Simone, but you probably seen her as Boss Lady. Oh, hey. Boss Lady. <laughs> so her 
much fun. We had so much fun. Met great people. I learned to get out of these big head. Get out of your head. the advice that they need in order to get on air. So I hope it worked. Oh my goodness, it beyond worked. I hope you got a information. Oh, welcome. I got a plethora. And here we are. So I'm happy next year, bigger, better. We're going to make it happen. We're going to take over. And NBC Universal Cable is going to make it happen. Yes! Hashtag Live Red. So now that we're done with the workshop, I'm actually doing festival festivities. And we're at the expo. Tasha Smith is speaking some life to not only people here who are listening, but to me. I'm being inspired. After this, I'm probably going to go to a screening and then I'm going to head to go see the Black and Sexy panel. Uh, and I can't wait for you guys to meet Dennis Newman and all of um, the others. Ooh, okay, I'm going to do this. Now we're doing um, the web series panel, which the Black and Sexy panel is going to be on. Uh, this is actually the first event that I've attended. Photo Fourth and last day of the festival, there are so many activities still going on. But the thing that's happening in the morning, um, which is very, very unexpected and fun, is that I was called by World Bride magazine and I am doing a shoot tomorrow for her magazine based on girls and women of different cultures who are getting married. I got chosen to be the black girl, the African girl. That's gonna be fun. You guys will be there at night on the Sunday. It's so early. But I'll see you guys right now. Good night. And I'm on the train now and on my way into the city. The plans for today are that I'm gonna be doing more festival stuff, but before that, I'm gonna be participating in a photo shoot with World Bride Magazine. And I guess they're gonna be dolling me up. It was actually a competition that I was selected for where they're featuring real brides. And I'm gonna be a real bride. So, this should be a good situation in practicing writing. I don't know. Anyway, after that, I'm planning on going to the festival where hopefully I'll be able to see the encore screening of Dope because I haven't seen it yet and I hear it's really, really good. Then after that, there is the Best of ABFF award show slash ceremony that's happening. And then after that, there's going to be a, a reception. So that will close off the night. We'll see what else happens throughout the day. And hopefully you guys get to see Nick. He has a track meet today, but then afterwards, so stay tuned and I hope that you guys have a good bitch day. We're in the meatpacking district. I'm writing stuff. I need a GoPro. Thumbs up if you would like me to get a GoPro so that way I can take you on my adventures while writing. And in a safe manner. We're going to be shooting it at someone's studio. I'll let you know once I remember what the name is. And you guys are gonna be get a little behind the scenes situation on the shoe, which would be really great once that story actually comes out. But for now, I'm actually gonna 
concentrate on writing and see you guys in a minute. And hopefully I won't look busted at that point because right now I'm very fresh faced. Let's we'll see what happens. Bye. Hola chicas and chicos, we're back. Well, actually, this is the first time we've been here. We're at Hesha <laughs> Studios. These are some of the other brides that are going to be involved. Sorry, I'm going to get Chelsea, because Chelsea's all on another couch. So, yeah. Chelsea. Fancy lady, fancy couch. I'm Lana. And these lovely ladies are getting married. Woo! It's so exciting. No more single ladies. No more single ladies. <laughs> No much. No much. <laughs> we just found out exactly what was happening. It's gonna be cray cray. Celebrity, all star team of hair, makeup, nail um, professionals, celebrity professionals. It's really, really exciting. I'm gonna tell y'all all those details later. Um, but this is what the set looks like. We got stuff happening over here, actual setage happening over here. This is where the glam squad is. Excited about it. It's gonna be a good situation. Um, this mess is crazy. I mean, it was to get the attention and stuff that um, we're gonna be getting today, it would probably cost over $6,000 just for hair, makeup, and nails or more. I don't even know, but it's crazy. I'm excited. Can't wait for you guys to see the before and after. And hello! And World Bride Magazine is uh, doing it out. This is what the actual magazine looks like. Cute stuff. Really excited. And I'll be taking you guys along as we find out more. So, oh, oh, do you need me? Oh, oh, okay. So, Bye. just left the shoot for World Bride Magazine. So dope. So crazy. So good. I know I would have included it typically in an episode for um, this week and what happened this weekend with the ABFF. But I'm gonna give you guys a little taste of it because since there was so much going on and so much to cover, I'm just gonna put a little snippet of it in this week. But next week, when you come back for Que Rica Talk About It Tuesdays, I'm gonna have an entire episode um, or vlog based around the experience so that you guys can see what went down as much as I can show you until the issue of the magazine comes out because of course we want you to support and go out and buy an issue so until then right now I'm on my way uptown to meet Dennis and Numa and possibly Nick all right guys I'm Wendy and I gotta ride see you later hope you're having a great day she goes after biking almost 30 blocks in 88 degree weather with my sweat and all I am finally here at the AMC Empire 25 in Times Square, waiting on Nick and gonna go meet Numa and Dennis and we're gonna go see Dove, my bouquet from the shoot today. You'll be seeing everybody else later. I'm here with Nick! Yeah! He made it, he made it, he made it. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to see the movie, which, by the way, was awesome. If you if you can, go see Dope. I feel like it's a, a great coming-of-age story, very original. It was a really great movie. I, I'm happy I finally got to see it. And so now Nick and I are on our way back to the ABFF headquarters, I guess if you want to call it that, the Hilton Hotel. We're having fun, walking around. Times Square, all the tourists, walking uber slow, and enjoying ourselves, because we're in great company, right babe? Right. I like it. <laughs> Alright, bye. Hi. Hey guys, look at who I ran into. Hi.
Good morning, chicas and chicos. It is the day after all of last night's fun, the American Black Film Festival fun, and I wasn't able to do my recap or closing, but we had a good time. Right, babe? Did we have a good time? It was good. It was great. Did you enjoy yourself? Yes, I did. How did you like the festival? It was great. Met a lot of in-person people. Yeah, it was good. Networking. Yes. <laughs> I love that networking now brings a smile to his face. Um, yeah. <laughs> he just gave me the only sarcastic look. Um, but yeah, guys, that was my experience at the American Black Film Festival. My first year attending and my first year being selected to do anything like that. And I'm just so grateful. I can't say it enough. I appreciate it. NBC, ABFF, the people that the, my my co-participants of the workshop and everything. It was an amazing, amazing time. And I look forward to seeing all of you guys out and about doing great things. And I'm so happy for the new connections and new relationships that are being cultivated. So that's it. Next adventure up is going to LA. So if you like the little snippets, little bits of things that you saw today and you'd like to see some more, or if you just want to follow the Liveridge journey and the Liveridge movement, taking things one day at a time and pursuing um, life dreams, you know? Please, 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 please subscribe. I love you forever and ever for it. And uh, I don't know, just want everybody to get there, Liveridge, and happy dream chasing. When I was younger, I can admittedly say I hated being dark skin. Like, I did not like my complexion. I get, used to get teased horribly. Um, I was called African booty scratcher because I'm Nigerian. Stuff happening over here. Actual setage happening over here. This is where the glam squad is. I'm excited about it. It's gonna be a good situation. Um, this mess is crazy. <laughs>